Hey guys, welcome back to New Stuff TV, the untechnical tech channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Please don't let this be the end of Projectors Richardson because, hey, there's been some talk about projectors being done for because TVs are becoming more affordable. That is large screen TVs like 98 inch or let's start with 85. You know what? Let's go back in time a little bit, man. Do you remember? I might be dating myself a little bit. Do you remember when like a 27 inch TV was huge? And then we had like the 36 inch TV was pretty much the huge standard. And then at some point, 50 was a, a pretty massive TV when we got the plasmas. And then the 65 inch became like, all of a sudden the 65 inch TV is now the small bedroom TV. What the hell? What happened here? Cause now we're talking about 85 inch TVs being like standard living room TVs, right? But that brings on the conversation of projectors and their worth in today's market when it comes to large screen viewing. So I've seen where like, you know, companies like TCL, Hisense, they've been putting out some bangers, man, as far as large screen TVs, 85 inches all the way up to a hundred. I think a hundred is, no wait, I think TCL at CES 2024 came out with like 110 inches, 115 inches. That's a massive TV, man, but it is still a TV and their prices are still relatively high when you compare it to something such as a projector. And for those of y'all who didn't know this right back here, look at this, man, that is a hundred inches. And you know what that is? It's not a TV. I'm gonna show you. This is actually the BenQ V5000i ultra short throw projector. Check this out, look at that. See, told you ultra short throw, baby. You see my hand? All right. So what you're looking at is a hundred inches. A hundred inches is pretty doggone big, especially when you're standing close to it, man. Look how big this is. So people are looking at TV screens this big. This is, this is kind of ridiculous for a TV, man, as far as like having a fixed object in your house. Well, this is a fixed frame screen because it's not a pull down or tuck away or anything like that. But what we're looking at is a hundred inches sitting up on your wall. And the only way I can achieve this is through a projector because TVs this size are still extremely expensive. The good ones anyways. Now that's not saying TCL and Hisense are putting out good massive TVs. I'm just saying if you want like the OLED TVs, you know, with the ultra blacks, if you're into that kind of stuff, prepare yourself to spend a lot of money trying to get a TV that is a hundred inches, shoot, 85 inches and up for less than what you would pay for one of these uh, ultra short throw projectors here, which is pretty hot on the market these days because these used to be super stupid expensive maybe five years ago, but the price has actually come down. So you can get a like a BenQ V5000i or the Hisense L9, and that one actually comes with a screen. You can do either 100 or 120 inches. Now, 120 inches is massive. I have another one of those, a fixed frame in the other room there. That is a massive screen. 20 inches doesn't seem like that much when you're adding it onto 100, but come on, man, it is massive. And Hisense actually calls their ultra short throw projectors um, not USTs or ultra short throw projectors, they call them laser TVs. So, yeah, and they are not, uh, some people would replace them with their TVs. I could easily do that here and I could easily do it home because we're getting good lighting here. I mean, I'm in full brightness. I got all the lights on, I got a shelf light on, I got overhead lights on, I got the camera lights blaring at me and you can still very clearly see this thing. In fact, let's turn it on some, some YouTube, man. Let's, let's check out one of my display channels where I uh, kind of showcase, ah, there it is. A little color right there. Look at all that. Look at all that. Okay, you see the color right there? You see that? Man, it's just popping the, the, dude, daylight. Well, not daylight, but the lights are all on in the room and I'm watching this as if I would be watching a TV. No, I'm not gonna get OLED black right here while this, uh, while I'm in this setting with all these lights on, but as soon as I turn off the lights or dim them a little bit, man, this gets so clean. But it is very viewable with all the lights on, which could, actually replace the TV. If you're the guy, girl, or the family who just likes watching your content, but you wanna watch it on a massive screen, projectors could be the way to go, especially since we have ambient light rejecting and ceiling light rejecting screens, such as the one I'm looking at right here with this uh, BenQ. So if you can now, like in a world that we have today, if you can now look at a projector on a massive screen, 100 inches plus, while you're still doing life. You know, the kids are over here playing board games or whatever, you know, they're playing with their toys and you might be watching a ball game or something. The wife is scrolling TikTok on your right and y'all are just doing life in the front room with the big screen on and you can do that with the lights on. 
projectors are not going away is what I'm saying. So I wouldn't be worried about it if I was you. Shoot, I hope they're not going away because I really just got into this stuff, man. <laughs> but large screen TVs are really a thing and they are becoming very, well, I ain't gonna say very affordable. They're definitely becoming more affordable in today's market. But once again, if you're looking for some of those TVs that like Sony makes, oh man, prepare to just hand them your wallet and, and just give them full access to it because you're not getting anything under uh, 98 inches for several thousand dollars. Uh, and we're talking about 100 inches right here for the for the BenQ. Oh man, I can't tell you what the price is on the BenQ right now, but Hisense has a reasonable price for a screen as well as the projector itself in a kit. AWOL is another company that has a massive screen selection as far as the size you can do with their three different projectors. And also, you know, these lifestyle projectors that I talk about on this channel, uh, some call them lifestyle, some uh, sometimes I call them portable projectors or tabletop projectors, those things, oh, they are putting out some nice quality. As a matter of fact, I actually use a lifestyle or tabletop projector in my house full time because I do have a TV. It's the baby 65 inch TV <laughs> that we look at when we're just watching some stuff. But when we want to go big time and turn up the sound and, you know, watch it big on the big screen, we just drop down that 120 inch screen and we use the Hisense C1 4K laser projector. We're talking I think that that projector is roughly uh, $1,800 or so. It's putting out 4K, super stupid bright. And it has all the apps and stuff built into it. And I love that it comes with all that packed into a small affordable package because I think people are really starting to appreciate what projectors can really provide for you these days. I have mine mounted on my ceiling at home, uh, but I could easily take it down, put it on tabletop in another room or take it out back, cast it on the garage wall or on the, the back of the house or something like that. Or even take it to a friend's house if they're, you know, doing something at a friend's house. And it's portable. It's just a, you know, a small size that you can just take from A to B. And you can't do that with a regular TV. Let's say you had a 100 inch TV, even a 65 inch TV, you cannot do that. I'm not saying one is better than the other. What I'm saying is they both can coexist in the world that we have today. I think TVs are great. I watch mine all the time. I got one in the bedroom and one upstairs that rests behind the projector screen. Cause like I said, when I wanna just do some casual gaming, I do it on the TV. When I wanna watch some casual shows, I do it on the TV. But when it's time to go big time and watch, let's say Reacher or Jack Ryan. Man, y'all need to check out Jack Ryan, man. I'm, I'm a little behind right now, but I'm catching up. If I don't wanna watch Jack Ryan, I'll pull down that 120 inches, man, and let that uh, Hisense C1 do the work. But there are some extreme benefits to having a projector over a TV. Like I said, I, don't, I can't say one is better than the other. I'm just gonna say that if you can do both, do both. Let me tell you about some good things about a projector. So I just mentioned that with these lifestyle or portable projectors, you can just pretty much take them anywhere around your house or over to a friend's house or whatever you want to do. So the portability is a major win when it comes to using a projector. But also you got to think about your eye health, okay? I wasn't really worried about this and I'm kind of still not, but I do notice it now. When you're watching TV, especially when you got something like an OLED or a nice bright uh, image on a t uh, one of these, um, LED TVs, it looks fantastic, but it can be really harsh to the eye sometimes. And you can feel it, a little bit of eye fatigue because that light is being cast right directly at your eyeballs, okay? And you're soaking it in and you're loving all the content you're watching. But with a projector, the actual light is being cast onto the screen and then reflected to your eyes. So it's not as harsh and not as damaging. I don't know the science behind this stuff as far as like, does it really cause damage? But I do notice that when I'm watching a projector, I don't have the same uh, eye fatigue because I notice it now. You know, now that I've heard about this, I'm like, man, yeah, I get it. The eye strain, like, you know, because of the bright light and you're just kind of, you know, your eyes just, you know, doing all this stuff for you in the background and you don't realize you're just beating them up. So yeah, that reflection the reflective light coming at you is just it's just less harsh on your eyes but speaking of reflection this is another thing that makes projectors better than TVs in some cases and that's glare okay so sometimes when I'm watching TV upstairs and I got the window open where at least the shutters I do notice a glare coming in from the left because it's glass on the front whether it's some type of plastic or glass it's gonna be on the front of your panel and you can see reflection there with projectors you don't have a reflection because it's a fabric or some type of material, right? But if you have a, let's say you have a less, mm, 
a lesser quality screen, viewing angles can be an issue, whereas they're not usually an issue when it comes to a TV. So if I'm on the side of this thing, with the BenQ screen that, that actually came with the projector itself, I have no issues with viewing angles from left or right, okay? So I can go on the left or right and it, they actually do get pretty extreme. I don't see any distortion over here or any glare. And even when I get in the front, that's where you're actually supposed to be watching from. When you're in the front, that's the perfect image. Over here, it doesn't really wash out at all. But I have noticed that with some screens, some ALR screens or, or CLR screens, or even just screens that aren't necessarily the best quality, you can get some trouble seeing the viewing angles because they kind of get washed out as you start getting to the side. So if you invite some friends over or something like that, and if you show up late, and that person who shows up late to the Super Bowl party, you're gonna be sitting on the side, homie, and you're, 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 if they ain't got a good screen, <laughs> then you're going to have a washed out image of the game. So make sure you get there first. That way you can sit right in the middle. But that can be like one of the cons as far as having a projector screen over a TV. But I think in most cases, it's probably going to work out fine for anyone who wants to use a projector instead of a TV. Now, the question is, can you do it full time like a permanent setup? Absolutely. Look what I've got here, man. You've been looking at this in all my videos all this time and you didn't even know it was a projector back there. So yes, you can go full time with a projector and have a large 100 or 120 inch image just being cast even with the lights on. That's the technology of today when it comes to projectors. All that just to say, I don't think TVs are gonna be obsolete in projectors anytime soon. And I definitely don't think projectors are gonna be obsolete in TVs. But what I do believe is that we as consumers have a ton of things to choose from at this point. And I think that's a great thing, man. Wouldn't you want more things to choose from? You can go projector or TV from all different sizes, from the baby 65 all the way up to a big daddy 130. Even I've seen projector screens up to 300 inches. That's just crazy. What, what do you you need to see at 300 inch. Either way, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is projectors ain't going nowhere no time soon and they better not because I'm a projector guy. I like them a lot. Either way, y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.